In this step we're going to set up the control rods for the rotor head. You need the two blade arm uh, control rods, the three swash plate rods, the associated links. Uh, if you've got a pair of ball link pliers they'll be useful. If you have a ball link driver it'll save your fingers. And if you've got a metric dial caliber that'll help you get the right uh, sizing. So using the links found in the instruction manual, these short links, the servo to swash plate ball links, should have a 13 and a half millimeter spacing. The easiest way to do this is again with a dial caliper. Just want to get the space between the bottom of the two links at the specified length and adjust it so that they, they fit. Final adjustment can be done once it's on the model. You want to make sure all three of these are as close to exactly the same length as possible. For the longer swash plate control arms, the length specified in the instructions is 47 and a half millimeters between the bottom of the links. So again, we want to fix these to be that length. We want to make sure they're both the same. And uh, we can do final adjustment once, it's, uh, once the model's being set up. Now about the ball links, they are directional. If you look at the end of these ball links, you can see that there's, there's one side which is a little higher than the other side. The, the side that's a little higher is the side you want to put over the ball first. If you do it that way, it'll clip on fairly easily. If you don't, it'll be very hard to get on. If you install it in the correct direction, it simply pops on easily. If you try to put it on on the opposite side, it's much harder to get to pop on. So make, make sure both ends uh, align correctly with the ball. And you may have to make some adjustments in the length to make that happen. But it's important that you do that. Installing the control arms is pretty straightforward. We're going to take the longer rods. They connect the swash plate to the rotor head. And then the shorter ball uh, links connect the swash plate to the servos. We're just going to put those in position for now. And there's uh, one more to put on the other side and uh, on the other side of the rotor head and that completes the control rod setup. Now we're going to move on to the canopy installation.